going on guys this is Matt from Team Lionheart from the Bonnie Lounge I'm here to showcase my deck profile uh, what I piloted to the April remote dual extravaganza this uh, uh, this past weekend I finished second place and uh, yeah I'll just go over my deck and I'll explain a few card choices some of the stuff you'll see in there is pretty standard and then some aren't so yeah let's just jump right into it <laughs> Um, so, 3 Lulu, 3 Lulu, 3 GG, 3 Lalo, double Ninian, and the 2-2. Uh, so, these 12 are standard, uh, I like the 2. I might actually get to the 3rd because this card wasn't that good. So, yeah, this this got cited out every time. But yeah, um, we'll just move on to the hand traps now. Uh, three Phantasmi and three Ash Blossom. So the reason why I chose the main Phantasmi in the main deck because this format is predominantly now link summoning with the uh, the dominance of uh, Dragon Link. And yeah, um, there are other decks that obviously link summon too. There's Print Kids, uh, Invoke Shadal, surprisingly link summons, even though they play like three of them. But Alistair into the Link One is a Link Summon, so this card comes in handy. Uh, dinosaurs even Link Summon too, so this card was really helpful. All weekend. It also fixes your hands, and then you want to draw your, you know, your virtual monsters. Uh, Ash was Ash. It was pretty good. Uh, it's still the most versatile hand trap in the format. Uh, we'll move into the spells. Uh, three Qualoon, uh, three King Long. Uh, three desires, two tactics, and two burial. So not much to explain here. Uh, you want to max these out. Uh, desires over prosperity. Uh, desires just you want to maintain hand advantage. Uh, yeah, and also yeah, you just have to play correctly with desires too. Like sometimes you want to put out your uh, Chuche first, or send your Jean Wu to the grave first, or search Lulu. Just you know, with the chance of them all three of them being banished. But yeah, and plus then you can put them back too. But yeah, I like that card. Tactics was really good. Played around it a lot of hand traps. Uh, also lets you draw more cards and then continue your plays. Uh, two foolish goods because you want to start your engine. Uh, you also just want to see Lulu. Lulu is just you know what starts everything for the most part. Uh, no e telly if you if you haven't noticed. Um, I didn't like that card. It only just put the body on board and sometimes uh, the deck can break really easily so like if you just put a, a monster on the board and you have no other virtual monsters it's, kind of, it's just kind of dead so yeah I didn't have to play that card uh, for trap cards uh, double chu and John Wu so you don't need to play third if you play correctly you will never need it um, this was actually crazy because uh, I managed to use the field effect for which I don't think in a million years I would use the field effect but it won me two games because I was able to stop myself from dying so yeah it changes the battle position for a monster if you control uh, either uh, another gate uh, virtual gate card on the board so yeah it was really good and then the star car star card <coughs> excuse me star card of the deck is three main deck there can only be one so this card is insane um you just you shut off dragon link dinos uh what other deck that wants to you know has a lot of the same type it came out easily if i played against like the prank matchup but yeah if you control shush uh <coughs> excuse me shen chen chu che and this it's really hard to lose so this card was really good all weekend uh we'll just move on to the extra deck now We'll just go with the one Stardust Charge Warrior, one Juju, and the Coral Dragon. Uh, so, not much to explain here. These are really good. Draw a card, draw a card. Uh, the, it's funny about this card. I think this was the only card of Maxrek I did not make all weekend. But uh, against it all, Invoked, this card's really funny because Construct. Or, excuse me, the deck in general cannot get over this card. As long as, because uh, it can't be destroyed by battle card effects, so Construct just kind of cries. So this card was, uh, yeah. It's there. 
Uh, we'll move on to the level 9. Shen Shen is card is what makes the deck really, 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 really good. Uh, Croc and Vermilion Mech. Uh, spot removal. Uh, draw, utility. Uh, this is Macro Cosmos on legs. Not much to explain there. Th this is pretty much your win condition. Uh, there can be one in Juche. Uh, but to add on to that, uh, to add on to that win condition, I play uh, Ultimaya and Crystal Wing. So if you get these four cards on the board, you flip their Chromie One. You obviously send this because it's useless, and you're just winning the game. Um, yeah, I didn't play the Dragoon Engine. Uh, I thought the Muddy Mud Dragon and Dragoon didn't really. It was just like suboptimal. Like you put it you establish for turn one but it doesn't really do anything it's just one negate but you also want to maintain the hand advantage of this deck so just i don't really like the discarding and all that stuff and plus it's a lot of commitment too like you're already fine with a crystal wing and there's i much rather get shen shen always on board so that's the game plan for this deck and i'll, I'll go over the two cards that actually replaced the muddy mud dragon dragon engine with uh for the xyz uh, Fortune Tune and Gossip Shadow. Uh, these cards are good. Uh, helps you in time. Uh, play around the bureau. Actually, also won me a game because the guy really couldn't get over it because he has 2600 defense for whatever reason. Uh, one of the cool plays is like if you ever get this and Zeus. Uh, spoiler: I play Zeus. Obviously, you could just attach all the materials to Zeus, and it's actually just kind of crazy. Um, Next, uh, so these were the two cards I replaced Dragoon with, uh, Utopia Beyond and Gaia Charger. So Dragoon didn't, uh, Dragoon wasn't good going to established boards. Meanwhile, this was. So after you beat out a few negates, you play this, um, just make all their attack zero, attack into it, whatever monsters you have, you swing into it. And then uh, main phase two, you would just, you know, go into the Zeus, which I won pretty good amount of games with this card alone the card's insane uh another insane card is m7 uh a lot, i've seen a lot of people play two of this card um i haven't gotten to myself to play two yet but you know this card simplifies game states uh you could bounce your opponent's monsters back uh you can add back your own hand traps from grave this card's insane and then last card in the extra deck is phantom fortress uh, after blattner uh same purpose it's a card that uh you simplify game states with you can banish a card in their hand graveyard uh you will never use the bash the top card for whatever reason uh but yeah and you also out dragoon with it you also attack with it slap zeus on it so really good card uh now going to the side deck uh three nibiru and three drone lockbird so there is no lancia in this side because lancia wasn't really good against the dragon matchup meanwhile these cards were so this is also really good against the shadow invoke matchup because you know, they also add a lot of cards if they're playing the domatica engine as well uh the beer is the beer but it has its moments sometimes it's good sometimes it's not but you know if it sometimes it'll get you there but yeah drill just has more applications where it could just stop certain stuff so yeah this was mo like my deck was just a big meta call for dragon for the event uh moving on to the other cards uh three cosmic cyclone uh red reboot harpy's Feather duster and panker tops not much to explain here uh i don't think i drew these cards at all i drew these more than anything but yeah this card's good i might consider twin but sometimes cosmic just easily removes the card this is uh, this is just better against edlidge because you want to get rid of the uh the conk or the hakairo when they activate and yeah it's just really good uh then the last two cards is three forbidden droplet uh i chose this over dark ruler because this uh this fixes hands so like like i said this deck is very easily to break sometimes if uh like if you open like multiple king long and no virtual worlds uh also like it for like the damage effect too like it just it's a non-targetable thing i mean say i mean dark world is the same thing but uh i don't know this lets you push for more damage so yeah like i said also fixes the hand um but yeah 
that was my deck. Uh, I started off 7 0, uh, pretty good performance, and I lost the last round of the Dragon Link just due to a very unfortunate hand in game three. Um, but yeah, I like the way the deck performed. If I were to make any changes, um, I don't know. I might play a third tactics, maybe consider utility again. I don't know. I know for sure this card 2 2 will definitely come out of my deck. Definitely was probably the worst card of the deck the whole day. Um, but yeah, definitely give the deck a try. It's, um, you don't need VFD to win. And let's be real, uh, VFD was just an unnecessary win con for the deck. It was just promoting unhealthy games. Uh, but yeah, definitely don't under underestimate this deck. Shen Shen is crazy. It like literally beats like a lot of matchups. A lot of decks can't really handle a macrocosmos, especially on legs. So yeah. Thank you guys. Uh, don't forget to check out the Money Lounge uh, Facebook group. Uh, we also ha have a coaching program for uh, Team Lineheart. Uh, you know, if you want to get some coaching in, it's just five dollars, especially for the new players and people who want to, you know, need coaching in this deck. But uh, yeah, definitely check us out. All right, later, guys. Thank <laughs> you.